Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trofinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Dead March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and uh, in the meantime I've spent a, a lot of time exploring a bit further and uh, this man over here caught my attention, this wine merchant. He bought this warehouse as he told me and um, there seems to be a hideous smell coming from his uh, cellar. And there's a uh, loud noises coming from there as well. So let's talk to the man. Oh, the stench absolutely rancid. Witcher, help! So we kind of missed the introductory uh, dialogue here because I uh, already talked to the man. But let's talk about my fee. Could look into it, maybe. As long as you have the means to pay me. Uh, that's not actually that much. Let's just go for 160 Fine, and get so it over it. with. We've a deal. Uh, sure, I'll look into it. All right, I'll take a look inside your storehouse. Vintner's contract, Revcom storehouse. What? Kill the monsters which have infested the storehouse. Oh, so these must must be the uh, contracts that we can do for the uh, the Ducal Camerlango, I think his name was. Stinks of carrion, necrophages. Necrophages. Sounds like they are, yes indeed. So, Necrophage Oil equipped, and let's get to slashing. Uh, so that's an owl ghoul, so I'm gonna have to... There we go. No level dudes, I think I'm uh, more than 10 levels above this guy. There we go, all ghouls. And that's that. Maybe check out the loot here as well. More trousers, wine of course. Maybe something else. <sighs> Reeks in here. So the dead cow is probably where the smell came from. Um, <sighs> Reeks in here. And a dead pig, yes, thank you Gerald. A note. Apparently a empty note. There's a lot of dead animals over here. It seems there's a few more monsters inside of this place before we can call it quits. Oh, that's just... No, 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 leave that there, Geralt, you dirty man. Rotting flash, okay. Ugly bastard. And one more ghoul. Oh, and that was the last ghoul, apparently. Never mind, I'm gonna quickly check out the rest of this place and I'll get back to you. So yeah, not much in there, so uh, let's just talk to the contract giver again. Hello, sir. Is the storehouse safe? Yes, it is. Hello? Well, have you seen to my storehouse? Yes, storehouse we have. Is full of rotten meat. Attracted ghouls I had to get rid of. Saint Lebiodas callous heels. But is it safe now? Completely. Yes, mm -hmm. all ghouls are so I dead. I advise you to clean the meat out quick, before other ghouls show up. Of course. Yes, I shall put my men to it, Toot Sweet. Toot Sweet, so that's actually really weirdly put in the subtitle, Meanwhile, so that's immediately in French. Something? I have a meager stock just now, but come back in two days to see a full array. And a discount that will make you cross-eyed. Okay, a discount that would make me cross-eyed. No thanks. So long. Yes. So long, sir. So witness contract completed. I think we we did complete it, right? Seriously? Yeah, that should have completed. It's probably just one of the the fifteen contracts I needed to do for the uh, the other quest, the Knights for Hire quest. Okay. So next up, we still need to talk to the foreman of the Ardezo Quarry, if you remember from the previous episode. So, uh, I'll see you guys back at the quarry and we'll see what he wants to talk about, about those missing men, probably. So, back in the quarry, let's see if we can find the foreman over here next to these uh, arms, I suppose. These must be the arms, actually. I never noticed that. So there's arms over here, then the hand over there. They were talking about the head as well, but that might be in the other pit. So, let's talk to uh, Pavnutio again. So, Master, the workers who vanished, how goes the search? Wait, you wanted me to talk about that. Uh, what's that mean, vanished? They vanished? What's that mean? Just that. Along with ample supplies. 
I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here, at Ardaizum. And this means... He's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you, but I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. I'll see what I can do. So, St. Libiota's footsteps. Locations marked on your map indicate places there where transports carrying materials needed to finish St. Libiota's statue or engineers responsible for its construction have run into trouble. Provide them aid and watch as you help erect one of the wonders of the world. So yeah, I've yeah, I did one of those already, uh, and those are more of those raiding quests that are just packed into one main quest. So I might do that, um, but I'm thinking to do another quest first. So let's check the quest log again. So I still have a quest, Mutual of Beauclair's Wild Kingdom, where I need to meet uh, a few merchants at a camp. So I uh, guess I'll see you guys right over there. So we're nearing the merchant's camp. Ah, actually, it looks. Um. Camp's abandoned. Murdered. But a lot of this damage is recent. Guess I arrived just a little too late. Holy shit. Should look around shit. still. This place is a wreck. Um, so yeah, blood. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I can investigate the blood, though. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. Just on this spot, though. Hmm. Aerial attack. Must have been. Okay, Roach, where are you going? He's he's climbing. Yeah, okay. He's climbing the tent over there. Don't know why he's doing that. Um, there blood. we go. More blood. Of the fresh variety. Monster attack was recent. Ooh, and this guy looks pretty, pretty dead. Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Okay. Draconid. Gotta be. Maybe a basilisk? Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. Okay. Then, is it still a basilisk or something else completely? Hello? Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. It'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look Excuse me? It. It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. Um. I posted a number of signs, warnings, specifically to prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. Uh... Seriously? You're defending the basilisk? Claim this is the last surviving basilisk. Plan to stick to that story. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. It your even has a name. Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Your cast was brooding then, two eggs, that she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. 
Okay. Who are you exactly? Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges. Happy to be of service. As Count to the Borg. beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalfareses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family Boris members, Salvarez. a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as if he were one of her own youngsters. Yeah, and he only survived, sure, probably. But beautiful Malarkey she it is. She was one of his. Oh, he was one of her youngsters. Um, so you pay off the families of the victims of this basilisk. This very special basilisk it seems hmm. pay the victims families compensation why these lands have been my families for decades granted to us by duchess ademarta beyond them the basilisk ventures not hunts not it does not kill or destroy provided it is not provoked yet if it does destroy if it kills i compensate all for the loss from my own coffers Hmm, your coffers. Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead. But I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crones. This unfortunate merchant's family. To be duly indemnified as well. I've seen the prices in Beauclair. You're not gonna cut it with uh, 800 crowns. Uh, so nowhere I might find the basilisk. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Yeah, I'm find gonna murder myself, the thing. Then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. And he's gonna be mad, right? He doesn't want us to kill that basilisk. Okay, that was the silent treatment, it appears. Using your Witcher senses, investigate the campsite. Find out more about the second victim. So this guy died over there. Probably his blood as well. So we're gonna have to find another bit of... What's this? Basilisk blood. scales are usually thicker. Not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. Uh, and that would be a good thing, probably. Uh, it's also very, very ironic with that uh, slizzard head on the side of uh, Roach over here. Uh, so there seems to be more blood over here, but apparently not of interest to us. Let's do that a bit while we're at it. Ooh, what's this? Strange. These burn marks. Beast's venom make them. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Okay. Could examine that, but that's probably the same poison. Busted barrels. Content spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Used to treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Your Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. I thought Busted she was called your cost. Venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her of at all? and tannin. Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. Sent their goods. They seek to lure the basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Are you gonna keep following me? Cause that's that's annoying. Uh, where did the sand go? Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. 
Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day. Okay, some more blood. Um, seems like we can follow the blood now. Let's follow those stains. There seems to be a question Sounds mark close by. Again. A monster den. And now we should see the scent again, apparently. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's the second victim. Just as I expected. Second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Is the uh, the other guy not here? Cooper's Guild contract. Let's read that. Dear Gaston, in reply to your question regarding the planned transport route for the barrels of tannin, allow me to confirm. The official itinerary supported by the Guild still goes through the lands belonging to Count Di Salvarez. The board sees no reason to deviate from our traditional path. The Count has pledged to cover all eventual damage caused by the Great White Terror, so even in the case of the destruction of the entire cargo, the Guild will suffer no monetary losses. That is... Uh, sadistic from the Merchant Guild. So they put these two guys in harm's way because they knew they would get compensated in the case that uh, the Basilisk attacked. Wow, that's that's just cold. Um, so the scent... I'm gonna continue following the scent, but it's still incredibly hard to follow scents in daylight. Here's something. But it's no basilisk screech. Yeah, I hear that too. So let's go over there first, because I'm not gonna track the scent anymore, although it goes in the same direction, it seems. Sinfred the Reaver? Wait, wasn't he in the glossary when we uh, were reading the bit about the lizards? We got to lure it back. Okay. And who might you be? Funny, about to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. The Reavers. You Reavers. look terrifying. Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? I would do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Um, so I think the Reavers were in the books as well when we were... Uh, there was one story about a golden dragon that was actually hunted by the Reavers, I think, and that uh, included the Sprintfrit guy. But I thought those guys were dwarves, not humans, but hey. Uh, Geralt of Rivia, we've got mutual acquaintances. Geralt of Rivia, I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Boholt, Kennet and Desbrit, new boy too. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Boholt mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional? Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Could use another pair of hands. Fee what we've gotten from the guild. We'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near-extinct subspecies. Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? Far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. Hmm. Um... I want to confront the guild, actually. Uh, ah, fuck it. Let's kill it. Beast has to die. We work together, we'll make quick work of it. After all I told you of your cast, you would murder her? Or oh, you will regret this, friend. I know folk. I shall tell them you slew the last surviving specimen. It's a monster that kills sorry, humans, Master though. Sorry, Master Actually, not sorry. A monster's a monster. Silvery, plaid, or polka-dotted. Last or next-to-last specimen. Doesn't matter. It's a dangerous predator that kills humans. Enough said. There we go. Herbalists, alchemists, I know many. They will despise you. I shall tell them of a heartless cur who cares not an ounce for balance in nature. You shall pay arms and legs for their wares. 
More! Somebody plug this Lorden's gob, eh? Right, Master Witcher. How do we aim to fight the filth? We've so that's probably boats, the negative effect the of uh, siding with the slash, Reavers. We'll all go at it as a bunch, blades and end, fire in our hearts. You decide. You're the one with experience. Um, I think you should go with the crossbow bolts. So we're gonna have to pay more for our alchemy supplies in the future, but... At this point in the game, I don't really need any more alchemy supplies, so I think I have 95% of the potions already completed, so uh, use your crossbows. Use your crossbows, keep her on the ground. Good idea. Do you say her? It's a female, yeah. Hear that, lads? We've a learned witcher here. Hundred spans out, and he spotted what the lizard's got between its legs. <laughs> Yeah, and the right guy now, just told us you that. You're specialist. Ready your crossbows. Boris. All good and fine, but the monster's not in its nest. Got to track it down first. Not at all necessary, Geralt. We looked into it. Gave it a think. Traders use tannin to lure the beast. Who says we can't do the same? Oh, you you got you're smarter tannin? than you look. Came into a bit, aye. Yeah, willing to do the honors. Yeah, sure. So let's plant that in the monster's nest. I don't see the difference here. I mean, it's a, the same kind of creature we've been killing a lot. I know it's supposed to be the last one, but... Even more so, it's the last one, so it can't reproduce anymore. Meaning that if we kill it now, the only thing we yeah. actually make a difference in is that it Grab can't kill any more humans. Shoot that bitch down! Which is good, right? Whoa, okay. And there he goes. That was, that looked kind of silly. But hey, what, what are you holding in your hand, Gerald? You're gonna drink your cast. So he was vulnerable, she was vulnerable to, uh, ooh, I think I need to equip uh, I think it's Draconid Oil for Basilisks. There we go. Okay, just... Can you... Um, dude. Dude, use your freaking crossbows. There we go. I'll do it. There we go. Fire damage, because it was extremely vulnerable to fire. What the hell just happened? It turned around really, really quickly. I really like that silver. And Igni. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. I mean, my Igni is so powerful, I just... Damn it. God damn it. Never mind you guys, you Reavers are actually worthless. There we go. This thing isn't really attacking me, is it? And down it goes. Uh, let's take everything. That was it. Goodbye. A stroke of luck, that. To fight on a true witch's side. Prime the way you swung that razor, mate. Mention some fee from a guild. I hear you right. Ha! <laughs> Witcher drives right for the gut. A professional, right thorough. Your share, friend. Every last copper as we agreed. What's with the sad music, seriously? Well, does a few of them silver scales and the tail. Proof for the guild, right? Yeah. I still don't really like the guild itself. Oh, sorry, Count Boris. That's why the, the sad music is playing. And we'll get word of you to some folk. Merchant folk, meaning. They ought to treat you right. Oh, and there we have Thanks. the positive Farewell. effect.
Oh. <laughs> oh, this is sadistic. I'm gonna cut off its head right in front of the count. Yep. Yep. So, so, so sorry for that, Boris. I didn't really mean that. I. Your cast. Dude. My poor your cast. Cruelly slaughtered like a common beast. Look well, it is a beast. Sobbing over the vermin filth. Let him be, you more. Blub a fair bit yourself when wolves nabbed your helmets. What do you mean? You saying we's like them wolves? No, muttonhead. Beast were to the noble, what helmet were to you? Basilisk is a pet? A hunting dog? The notion were wrong to start with. There we go. I do think it's kind of sad we couldn't confront the merchant guild, because those guys were actually really sadistic towards their own merchants, leading them through the... Uh, through the grounds of this basilisk, but hey, yeah. and that's it. So, yeah, that's a, that's a really nice quest. I'm going to take a little break with that done. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, as always, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.